Derek Thomas and Neil Smith, the best quarterback sacking tandem of the 1990s? It's unlikely. The Kansas City Chiefs' top two pass rushers are marquee names on next year's free agency list. Their friendship, however, would make it hard for them to lead. They have a pact to be there for each other. Last year, for example, Thomas played decoy despite knee and groin problems, so blockers wouldn't gang Derek up. Derek Thomas and Neil Smith of the Kansas City Chiefs said this season that they never wanted to split up as a pass rushing tandem, but it's probably going to happen. The Chiefs should sign Thomas soon, but won't be able to afford Smith and still make a bid for George or another quarterback like the 49ers' Elvis Gerbach. It started with the Kansas City Chiefs informing him that they may not be able to re-sign him, possibly breaking up his eight-year pass-rushing partnership with linebacker Derek Thomas. A communication snafu involving Pro Bowl alternates forced him to watch New England's Willie McGinnis play ahead of him. Smith hits the free agent trail next week, hoping to turn his suddenly fading fortune. Will Smith has spent nine years in Kansas City chasing and often catching quarterbacks. He made the Pro Bowl five times, will take his sack attack to Denver next season. CNN SI's Peter King reports that Smith will sign a two-year deal with the Broncos on Monday after being told by Chiefs coach Marty Schottenheimer the team can't afford to re-sign him. Smith is coming off a subpar season where he had just four and a half sacks. Still, the news is a shock to the 31-year-old who thought he would retire in Kansas City. Smith held a news conference today, and it was carried live by CNN SI. After talking to Marty on this week, Marty iterated to me that they made a decision, and the decision was based off of my performance of last year, that they were to make a move in another direction, and that direction wasn't in uh, my future. When I first came here, I thought that I would end my career here in Kansas City. I would love to end my career here, but it was a, a business decision that was made for the Kansas City Chiefs. I just have to say that I have to live with it. I'm big enough and I'm old enough to handle it. I have to say that I'm not here to pray any fingers, to bash the organization. Everybody's been good to me here. I have no remorse for anything that I've ever done. I've done all I can do here in the community, to help in the community, to doing the best I can both on the field and off the field for the Kansas City Chiefs. I hope the fans can really feel the high field today is to giving them what I have, and that's my performance on the field and off the field. After nine seasons, um, what I've done on the field, um, it was hard for me. Um, a very emotional moment, you know, sitting talking to Marty, we had a talk, and I, um, I was hurt. I was crushed. But those things happen. This is, this is a part of life. It's something that I have to cross and I have to overcome. I've been, in, I've been in worse. So, but I'm happy that I'm living and that I can walk and be proud. So I can't let words hurt me, but I can only grow from it. Well, if you look at it, um, I, I feel like I'm a marquee player and we have a lot of marquee players in the league. Right now, it didn't happen the way that I wanted it to be. Um, there was a contract that was offered to me earlier that probably would have landed me in Kansas City. But the signing of my, my dear friend, Derek, um, and always going to be a friend, that it didn't land me here. They made, an op they made a business move, and the move was that they was going in another direction. If they didn't include me in that direction that they was going to, I have respect for that. That's why I'm stepping down to being a chief, but I'm not going to step down to being a great NFL player. I was offered a contract during the season of last year, during the season, um, my agent then replied to me, I replied to my agent as, as that I didn't really want to do a contract during the season. I didn't feel like personally it was the right opportunity for me. So therefore I let, I let it and, and I told them that I would not consider the contract or talk anymore until after the season is over. Well, it was a question that was brought up that would I like to test the market? Yes, I did. I, I told the chief that I would like to see what I was worth and that the offer they gave me it was way, way under the amount that they gave Mr. Thomas. Well, I said it, I said it long ago. If there would ever be a decision or, or 
or the pick between me or, or Mr. Thomas, that that I had a feeling that it would be Derek because Marty Marty and Carl drafted Derek Thomas. I was here before Marty and them got here. Therefore, Derek has done everything that he that he was asked to do, both on the field and off the field. A hell of a player. You can't take that from him. It could have been him, but it's not him. It's me. So therefore, we can't look and see what's what's what what the future holds for for me. He's happy, and I'm happy for him. But now, my four-year deal now becomes a five-year deal for me because now I have to go back out and probably form another team, improving myself all over. I consider this is home for me, and and for all I've done here, you know, it's hard to just pick up and leave. But I have to, I have to move on because this, this is the most important thing for me right now, is that. Um, it's, it's, it's been said, now it's done. Um, I have to move on with my life. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy right now. I'm relieved. I was relieved when Marty told me on this week. And I, I have so many great moments. I mean, some great memories here, uh, both on the field and off the field. It's, it's, I mean, if I would get just start getting into football play and plays and players and, 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 and coaches and things that I've, I've done both on the field and off the field, I could be here all day saying it. So my only, my only thing is I could just say this here, is I, I've, I've loved this. This has been great for me. This, this has made me a better man. Neil Smith, a man of many words, at least right now. Smith said the Chiefs thought he was slowing down, but despite his lowest tackle and sack totals since his rookie season, the stats say he's still one of the best at pursuing quarterbacks.